Tell you what, not a bad day for a mo. It is looking, mm, looking really good. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. This lawn is still green. We're getting frosts, freezing, almost snow. This thing is still kicking along. I cannot believe it. Really, really good. Got to clean some leaves off here today. Give it a mow with the cylinder mower, probably a double cut. And then we're going to also put some fertilizer down on it to keep it ticking along. As I said, I want to try to get this all the way through till spring with this kaiku lawn with it still growing. And it's not that it's growing much and keeping it green. So let's get straight into it. Let's get it done. She's green underneath. Woohoo! Man, shouldn't be getting so excited, but I am excited. Look at that. Mm. Boys, check that out. There is color there still. There is still growth. Stop it. Stop it. Honestly, very, very impressed with that. Mate, keen to get the cinnamon mower out today, give this thing a double cut. Now, I just wanted to mention something. I was thinking of it while I was riding around on the mower just then is it is getting close to spring. It's honestly time to start thinking about our barricade applications or our pre-emergence in general. Make sure you get your pre-emergent down probably towards the end of August, which is only really a month away. So time to start really thinking about it and renovation season's coming up very soon. You guys in Queensland in those warmer climates, you could start doing renovations in three to four weeks time. So it's time to start really thinking about fertilizing and hiring out maybe a core cool aerator getting yourself some sand or something and getting things started so it's all going to be systems go very soon which is just crazy just bananas actually before we get the mower out let's do the edges on this area just here just to make sure it looks extra crispy for this time of year the trusty old rover out again today i love this thing i've had a light on this too it's just awesome so this thing here will be cutting at 25 mil today on the kai Kiyu. we're not going to get a lot off because it's not growing a lot last time i cut would have been i think it's getting close to a month ago maybe three four weeks ago so about a month yeah so today i'm gonna mow it give it a double cut give it fertilize mate i'm loving mowing in the middle of winter it is just crazy Absolutely crazy, although in saying that, we're getting close to spring, so it's not far off. The days are getting longer, sun's getting, I don't know if it's getting warmer, but it sort of feels like it is. Anyway, it's in my head. Let's keep going, Schnitty. Why do you have to bring the sticks on the lawn while I'm about to mow it? I can't mow them up. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you take that stick away? Pick it up. Off you go. Come on. Always has to get those sticks that are way too big for him as well. Sorry, buddy, I'm gonna be annoying to you. Let's go, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. come on, let's go. This, no! <laughs> this way. Bring him over here. Good man. Here we go, do it there, that's fine. Just off the edge. It's like dealing with a two year old. All right, let's do it.
tell you what, not a bad day for a mow. It is looking, mm, looking really good. Check this out. Still getting about half a catcher off a single mow. I decided we're only gonna do a single mow today because we're legit not getting a lot off at all. It's not really worth cutting thin air while well, I could, because it's enjoyable, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but it is, but mate, still got some growth there and some color, which is just amazing. Absolutely crazy. How good is that? Bruh, love it. Okay, so today we're getting out my um, winter furt mix, which I've talked to you guys about a few times. Um, if you wanna check it out, it is on my website just here. Um, so the mix has the Roots Brilliance Fertilize, and I like to put in a liquid iron fertilizer on top of that as well. So I chuck in the Enhance. So this mix is basically just for soil health, giving you a bit of a kick of growth, um, which is a bit of longevity as well, sort of lasts up to a month this liquid fertilizer mix, um, which this is one of the main reasons this is staying green. Um, another reason is because I mow it regularly, as, as I've said in previous videos, so I am maintaining this area a little bit more because those areas over there that are gone completely dormant, I'm not mowing them every day, every couple of days like I am here, so there is a difference, but the liquid fertilizer is definitely holding color in this though. I definitely believe that. Do you reckon, hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> Yeah, check it out on the website if you want to. I've got a winter and a spring one there as well. Um, this, the spring one, spring slash summer one's just gonna have more liquid fertilizer in it so you get more kick of growth out of it. This time of year, we're sort of trying to just help the root system, help it grow and get nice and strong, ready for spring and also to withstand the freezing temps and all the frosts and possible snow that you might get, which, oh flip, that's on the wrong setting. Well, that's devastating. I haven't had an incident in ages, but guess what? This is flat, so I'm gonna get my pump one. I'll be back. Give me a second. This is why it's sometimes good to have a backup sprayer. This is the reason I actually bought this backup sprayer, because I knew that I am shocking with batteries. Let's go. Nice to be able to come out this time of year and do this in like towards the end of July, nearly August, which August, I tell you what, things are about to start happening. As, I, as you guys have seen, irrigation, not irrigation, wow. Ball pump is in, power is in. So, and that's nearly pretty much cleaned up. I'm just gonna, I've already run it over a few times with the tractor and even the excavator just with the, the tracks along just to sink it down a bit. So I just need to push a bit more dirt in. But I've finished all the way down to the bore. I've just got to do from here the house, and that's about it. Um, which mate, which anyway, which means we're about to start ripping into things. So as I've said, I've got irrigation being designed up at the moment. Possibly going to get a design today or tomorrow, if not by the end of the week, which is exciting. Still a bit of a mess here, but we'll tidy that up. So we'll look at the colour difference, man. <laughs> it is absolutely nuts. Um, but I tell you what, we're probably going to start spraying the par three paddock with some um, glyphosate, non-selective weed killer, in the next week or two, seriously. And then we're gonna start looking at shaping things very, very soon, because we're getting close. It's gonna come up super duper close, and quickly, as so yeah, you can see. I've leveled it all out down there. Not sure how well you can see it. Here needs a bit of a tidy up, but I've, it's been all compressed and squished down, and I've tidied up most of the, the road as well, and got rid of all the crap out of there. Just need to run over this a few more times, and then, just get some hot mix and chuck it down there. We're gonna start spraying stuff over in the par three paddock very soon, start running irrigation lines. Now I have had the question a lot of times about why didn't I run some poly from the pump up through here where there's already a trench um, and to where I'm gonna run it. The main reason is because of lots of the obstacles in the way between here and where the, the tanks are going to be. Like we've got a couple of bits of concrete, a little bit of power, a couple of different things along the way which I would like to avoid. So we're actually gonna run up, up the, that side of the paddock 
We won't have to run through any roads or anything. We're gonna run through the paddock up to where the header tanks are gonna be, which those tanks will feed the rest of the property, which is gonna be awesome. Um, and we didn't have to go 200 mil down deep with our poly anyway, so it's not gonna to be too much of an issue, but I just didn't really wanna run through the concrete just here to start out, because the first project we're doing is the par three. Um, and I'd love to have an outlet at the dam to fill it up with some bore water as well. So that's the plan there, but anyway, it's all happening. Stay tuned, appreciate you guys so much. Um, and I'll see you soon.